Hey everyone, today I'm gonna build some boat guides for my trailer. Trailer guides for my boat. <laughs> Let me show you the materials I'm gonna use. For the support, I'm gonna use some conduit. This is real cheap conduit just bought from the hardware store. And as a buffer between the boat and the guides, I've bought this PVC to go on the ends. So I'm gonna bend the conduit from this support right here. I'm gonna screw it directly to this bend the conduit up at this angle here onto the boat, and then I'll put the PVC on top of the conduit. In addition to the conduit and the PVC, I bought some caps to cover the ends to keep water out, some stainless steel hardware to secure it, and some paint to make it look a little bit better. All right, let's get started. Okay guys, I got the first one bent up pretty good. Let me show you how I did that with the second one. So using the resources I have, let's bend this pipe here. The first bend's the hardest. I hope I can get this out after. So that's the bend started. All right, so just test fitting as I go here. You can see Pretty much got the angle, maybe just a little bit more out. And then I want my second bend. There. there. So you can see I've marked that. So I'm just going to take it and step on it. Okay, I'm gonna try and show you what I've done. So, there. Let's mark our holes. I've got this thing lined up straight up and down. Okay, now obviously guys, this bend is not structural. This piece is not meant to hold the boat up or anything of that sort, it's solely for if the wind were blowing while I'm loading the boat, it will stop it from going side to side. When I'm actually loading the boat, if I were to run into these, they will probably bend. They will not guide me on as well as some rails that are made of real steel. So these are solely for, for the wind and trying to keep the boat on the trailer because the back end doesn't sit on the bunks when I'm backed in, so it'll, it'll float around a little bit. So that's the, the purpose of these. Hey guys, it's a new day, the paint is dried, so let's get back on this project and get sweaty. Originally, I was gonna have this PVC go all the way down here, but I bent this way too early, so it's only going so far down. Now, my only thought for doing it that low was just in case the bottom of the boat rubbed. I don't think that's gonna happen, so. I've cut them down and I cut 
cut a slit in this one to see if that'll help. I'm gonna try this one without a slit. So I'm gonna hit it with some heat and try and push it down over this just enough to hold it and then I'll cap the top. And that, that'll be enough for this rub rail here to rub on this PVC rather than metal. So let's give it a shot. Hey guys, I'm trying to keep the camera angle a little bit different here because I just got a shipment. So be prepared for the next video. But I got these installed, as you can see. They're pretty sturdy. Uh, again, I'm just using these for the wind to guide the boat on. If I run into them, I probably will damage them. So you might see a repair video in the future, depending on how good I am at getting the boat on. Anyway, that's one side done. Let's see if I can get the other one on. It's a little tight over there right now. The garage is full, but I'll try and bring you along. Well, I can't move the boat any farther the other way or I won't be able to move over there. So this is what I'm working with. All right, we made it through the maze. Let's get this guide on. I hope you guys learned something from my DIY boat guides here. We're gonna see if they work. I can't promise they work yet, but I'll be sure to give you guys an update. I can't go fishing today because it's just been raining all day. It's a pretty gross day. So I'll give you an update as soon as I get out there. I hope you guys liked the video today. Be sure to leave a like and a comment below. Let me know if I'm doing things right, what I can improve on, and I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.